Hi, I'm Bhavani and this is my vlog of stuff you need to know in the run-up to the general election. I'll be covering it as a journalist and also I'm a mum of two. So I try and squeeze in these videos usually on the school run or afterwards, and, which is apt because today I'll be talking about education. I know there have been a lot of headlines about problems with anti-Semitism in the Labour Party and Islamophobia in the Conservative Party. All important stuff. But I'm going to concentrate on what you're going to be voting on in terms of schools. I know it's a really important issue for lots of people at my stage of life. That is a state of complete chaos while trying to raise kids and not lose your sanity. But first a bit about schools funding. It's actually fallen over the last decade in real terms. That means taking into account rising costs, inflation and increasing pupil numbers, schools have actually had less money to spend and that is independent analysis from the Institute of Fiscal Studies. So when we're looking at plans for schools in England, it's against this backdrop. Like much of the Conservative manifesto, their promises on education are, well, Conservative. It seems they're playing it safe to try to return to power. And also because Boris Johnson made a big announcement on school spending back when he became PM, promising an extra £7.1 billion by 2022 23. That should be enough to reverse spending cuts to schools over the last decade. This week, the Tories also pledged £30,000 as a starting salary for teachers, more funding for children with special educational needs, and more free schools. They're state funded schools not run by local councils and don't have to follow the national curriculum. Labour's approach is, well, the opposite of that. They want to return the power of running all schools to local authorities, in effect, reversing the Tory policy. And like in other areas of spending, Jeremy Corbyn is promising more, an increase of £10.5 billion for schools' budgets by 2022-23. Labour's controversial policy of banning private schools doesn't make an appearance in their manifesto, but they are removing their charitable status and plan to charge VAT on private school fees. Labour also plans to give free school meals to all primary school children, reduce class sizes to under 30 and abolish testing for primary school kids. The Lib Dems have also made some big education announcements, promising to recruit an extra 20,000 teachers and increase school budgets to £10.6 billion by 2024 25. Like the Conservatives, they've pledged a £30,000 starting salary for teachers, and like Labour, promised to scrap primary school testing. So after a decade of tightening budgets, the main political parties are promising big cash increases for schools. But whose plans do you and other voters think are the most credible? And how much will this actually cost us? I better do a video on tax plans. But for now, I hope you found this helpful. And just remember that election is just two weeks away.